Hello and welcome back to another Blaster Vlog. Now today in this vlog I just wanted to talk about the election. Yes I know that you may have had enough of it all but uh, frankly I haven't. I'm still following it quite closely. Obviously as you know all the parties within Britain had to compete to become next Prime Minister or next in charge of the country. Uh, because Theresa May, the current Prime Minister, called an earlier election because she wanted five years breathing space for the Brexit vote. Uh, unfortunately, well fortunately she did get five years, but this election was a gamble because if it didn't work then she wouldn't be Prime Minister. Uh, but she called it three years, about three years early, to three, two years early, two, three years only, uh, when she didn't really have to. Uh, another thing is as well that uh, um, it didn't work out as she planned because to become to get overall majority within the within the government House of Commons, whatever you call it, um, you have to have 326 MPs um, to have overall majority. Now they did not get that; they got. 319, 18, 18, 18, that's it, 318. But unfortunately, Labour, Labour came quite close with like 200 and something. They came, um, like, what was it, 240, 260 something um, MPs. Uh, and Conservatives and Labour were the most competitive uh, two parties out there. Uh, but unfortunately what has now happened is, because Trees May just not have a lot, she did go speak to the Queen, and uh, the Queen wants her to form a new government. Unfortunate, so fortunately she's managed to find another party to help her out. This party is the DUPs, I think, some of the thing along those lines. They have 12, uh, 12 people, yeah, about 12 people, um, 12 MPs, so that would be enough. If they say no, which they very unlikely won't, but if they said no, then, I don't know, because at this current point in time, she's discussing about taking our MPs and putting them with Conservative, so that then she can have a proper government. Uh, but unfortunately, if they say no, then um, it's going to be a hang government, or very possibly, most more likely option, is there'll be another an election. Now, the thing is, Theresa May knows this, if there is another election, uh, Labour will, will most likely win it. Um, but yeah, obviously the lay person in charge of Labour, Jeremy Corbyn, um, he promised so much and a lot of, most of his voters were young voters, first time voters. I know if I could vote, I would have voted for him. Now I know I might get a few dislikes and comments about that but I don't care I would have voted for Jeremy Corbyn if I could I can't I'm 17 you have to be 18 to vote um, and yeah I've been following it very closely I think the problem was because Theresa May lost a, lost a, a lot of hers she lost quite a few of her MPs uh, for calling this early election if she hadn't called this early election she'd still have those MPs but because she called an early election, she she lost them, and she has tried to say a sorry to them for losing her MPs. But to be honest, that's her fault. At the end of the day, uh, yes, she is taking responsibility and trying probably putting her hands up in the air and say yes, it's my fault. At the end of the day, it is her fault. She called the early election. She didn't have to call this election. This election costs a lot of money to run. Uh, but she chose to run the election, and she did so. Now, if they do have another election, I personally think Jeremy Corbyn, Labour Party, will get in no problem. Absolutely no problem they'll get in. Um, but the thing is, I'm very divided, because in the area I live in, it's very conservative, it's very conservative, positive. But where... I like where the area I also like where I go to college. Um, that is mostly Labour. In fact, the entire town of that area was Labour, and it was Labour, uh, which was good because I like Labour. 
Uh, I don't know why, I like the policies, I guess. Uh, but this election cost something ridiculous, like 150 billion or something. They could have put that into NHS and waited a few more years. But like I said, Theresa May wanted breathing space for the election, and she got it. She got her breathing space. She got the breathing space she wanted, but unfortunately she has to make this government first. If she cannot make this government, then I don't know what will happen really. Uh, she will struggle. But yeah, um, yeah. The problem is though, is really if she don't get these DUPs people, she is, she's in trouble. Pretty much, she is in trouble, and she knows that. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn is probably actually just waiting. Jeremy Corbyn has actually said that Theresa May should step down because she lost people and didn't gain any. And he gained people. Uh, but unfortunately it doesn't matter what he thinks. It matters what the area thinks. Because um, this, I think how it works is, say the area I'm in, RMP, it, if most of us can vote Conservatives, I think the Conservatives MP get it. Most of us vote Labour. I think that's how it works. In the, I think that's how it works anyway. Don't hold me to that. If it's not how it works, then it's not how it works. But yeah, like I said, um, Conservatives really need this. Um, and if they don't, they don't. But Theresa May really hasn't said much on this matter at all, really. Uh, she kept very quiet this morning while every other party kept going. I think the problem was she was expecting to have everyone she needed to run this government, but she frankly, she didn't. She didn't have the people she needed, which was, well, yeah, she didn't have the people she needed, so she needs to find people. But like I said, I'll be following this closely. Um, I'll tell you, I'll make a vlog tomorrow if she does get the DUPs, if she doesn't, if there's a no, going to be another election. I'm sure you've all heard about it anyway. For those people who did vote, well done, you voted, you got your point across. Um, I'm very happy for someone I know and respect. He did vote Labour, I know that for a fact. I will not reveal his name. Um, but yeah, they vote Labour. Some people hate Labour, some people love Labour. It depends. It's their policies at the end of the day. Is it going to affect you? Is it not? Um, but yeah, really. At the end of the day, people may have voted for Theresa May because she's got that experience. But we haven't seen Jeremy Corbyn in action yet. Theresa May was only there to cover for the rest of David Cameron's term when he resigned. Um, back uh, the day it was decided we were going to leave Brexit. Uh, leave Brexit, leave the EU and start Brexit. But the problem is now, if we have another election, it's going to be very tight. Because uh, the EU, I think the EU said, but Brexit has to happen. It, has to, it doesn't, doesn't matter when it starts. Article 50 has already been triggered. It has to end on a certain date. If it does not end on that certain date, I don't know what will happen. But it's just why the the rest of the other countries are getting really annoyed with us because a lot of things are happening with this country, and we we ain't we ain't got we can't do anything. Theresa May, without her 326 seats, she can't do anything. Basic, she can't do very much until she gets her new government sorted. Not much is going to really happen. But like I said, I'll keep you up to date with whatever happens. And as always, if you have liked this video, please slap that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe for Team to Team Blaster for more politics on the on the election. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.